Okay, we're looking at the Happy Beds Warwick Grey Velvet Fabric Ottoman Bed. This has just arrived. As you can see, it's quite big, so um, it's going to be a bit difficult to get this upstairs. I think it's about 100 kilograms in total. Um, and each box is quite well labelled in how much it weighs. Um, so that's 20 kilograms, that box. That's uh, eight and a half. This is about 25, and then there's two other boxes there. Um, I need to get it up these stairs. Um, I haven't been paid or given this bed for free. I bought this bed with my own money, so I'm just trying to see if it's if it's any good, as, a, as good as the pictures. I haven't seen it in real life. I don't know if it's even the right bed that they've delivered to me, so hopefully, that, hopefully it is. Um, and then I'll do a bit of a video of me um, setting it up and putting it together, because it's in bits at the moment. Let's all laugh at me getting it up the stairs. Because this is one of the heavier boxes. Oh. Oh. Happy beds don't make them lighter. Because weight means you're getting your money's worth in material. So it's a good thing, it's a good thing. You might struggle, people, getting up the beds. Up the, up the beds? Up the stairs. I can't see any instructions, so I'm just going to open all the boxes and get rid of the cardboard because it's really bulky. Here we go. Um, found the instructions and in a box of bits. I should imagine there's some tools in there, but I've got. Uh, drill and some bits of my own anyway, so it might make it easier. Interestingly, just as I uh, found the right uh, connection for these bolts and the drill, it says do not use power tools. I'll do some pros and cons later, but I'll be honest, I've never um, done a review of a bed or much else, so my opinions won't be based on much, but hopefully they help the storage base. Do not overload the internal storage. Require two people to assemble. This bed is heavy. Always lift the bed with two people, all right? Yep. Yeah. Get crack lacking, step one. The bracket that's closer to the top, you see how this one's slightly further down? The bracket closer to the top needs to be on this end. Otherwise it doesn't sit on the floor, you see? That needs to be up there, and there'll be a massive gap. So, I was wrong. Sam, you are an idiot. Um, so, that one needs to go on this side. This one needs to go on that side. Read the instructions. Although I can, yeah, can I blame the instructions? Mm, maybe it does show that that is the higher bracket. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. All right, let's do that. Good solid bolts there. Everything feels very solid, well made. Two men, here we go. Sugar puff. Yeah, right. Oh, that's not easy. That was really quick. Looks like a bed. Um, all right, two side bits are on. Backboard connected to the to the headboard. Now we're going to put these corner brackets on into each of the four corners, and then there'll be a strengthening kind of strap brace that goes between there. Do not fully tighten the screws to the parts until all screws are in the right hold position. That's good. They're much bigger than they look. In the uh, in the picture, so they're going to go on there like that. Then we've got the, as it's very clearly labelled, um, four number four bolts. That's those. So we're going to crack on. Right, let's line these up. Okay, all four corner brackets are in, along with the uh, the brace along the middle. Um, so if it isn't obvious on the instructions, the flat plate 
is down with the with the bolts going on top of on top of the flat plate. Um, I mean, the instructions say it, but it's really important that you don't tighten them up before all the holes are aligned and you've got your bolts in, and then slowly do them up. And also make sure um, that the bracket is is tight into the corner. If there's a gap on either end, um, you need to give it a little push in and then tighten up the bolts. Um, and with the strut brace, it didn't quite just slot down. You want to be careful not to nick your your velvet on the edges. So um, just kind of, as you put it into the bed frame, put it in at an angle and then straighten it up and you will find it will probably push out the sides a little bit. I also think I'll admit that using the drill hasn't actually been that helpful. It isn't good for when you're doing bits like this because it just tightens up too quickly and you end up um, having to loosen them off again anyway. So it has, it's actually been fairly quick using the provided Allen keys. So that step one and two is done. And now step three, install hydraulic bits. So I'll need to get them out of there. I like how they use uh, fabric straps, just bits of off cut from when they're making the beds. That's nice. Everything's Well, it looks fairly simple. Like so. And then open it out. That turn. Please turn. Have a problem. Okay, they do turn. Okay, so we've bolted the uh, gas pistons um, to this mechanism. Now we're going to attach it to to panel C, to. The, both panel C's. Um, so we need the um, M8 flash washers and the M8 bolts, which I've already, I've already put the washers on the bolts. We need four of those on each side. There's four there, Allen key. Um, and by the looks of the way you can tell which side is which, is that the gas pistons are on the inside and this uh, top elbow bit is obviously at the top and it's facing in with the flat side facing up. Um, and that will go on there like that. So it would be good if I had two people, but I don't. So from what this is saying, the bolts need to go back. Like so. So not like that, like that, apparently. So I'll tighten up those, and then I'll do the other side, then I'll come back. Okay, both gas struts are assembled and put on the bed. Um, so I think they're fine. Um, the only thing I would say is that's, that's as far back as the bolts would go. To get this bit on the bed and 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 uh, bolted to the gas joists and the main frame, you have to put it in place like this. But all it wants to do is slide down. So if you've got a, a gap at the end, it just wants to slide down. This is this is pretty heavy. Um, and not only that, the instruction states that the the bolts need to be exactly in the middle. So it can't just you can't just get one bolt in and it'll just slide down. So you have to hold it and screw it up. Um, so that's been quite difficult by myself. Just the last board. There we go. Wait. Okay, 
for this next step we need to put these uh, side wings on um, by bolting them together there um, and to get to the back oh, we need to just you peel back this velcro oh, and then oh God and then you put your bolts in through the back and they'll stick out um, and then you do them up from here so I'm gonna do that now Fortunately, I did have it away from the wall. Okay, the assembly is done. I've got the uh, straps on each side. Um, got the each ends are on now. Velcroed back. Um, obviously figured out that those little brackets underneath here, uh, these things, they hold the mattress in place. So when you lift Lift it up, the mattress doesn't slide down. That should have been quite obvious to me, but it wasn't at the beginning. Um, and yeah, the mattress is on. We'll push this back down. It does fit nicely in there. Um, I like having the mattress right against the backboard, backboard the headboard even. Um, so when there's the duvet on, you, that will cover that. Um, leave the straps out so it can easily lift it up but it's fairly it's quite heavy but once it gets going uh, yeah, I managed to do that with one arm um, and I do have a very very heavy mattress on there so yeah there we go